Thank you. And are you not worried about how the government is handling this industrial action by calling for the sacking of teachers? That can only happen if the government has abrogated its own constitution. Mm. Because the constitution gives the workers a right to withdraw labor according to the law. And the teachers have withdrawn their labor. So you cannot wake up and say, because you have withdrawn labor, it means you have abandoned the duty. Those two things are different. And therefore, if the constitution has been abrogated and we no longer have a constitution in Uganda, and the rule of law is no longer part of the democratic governance in this country, then we shall say it is possible. But unless that has happened, the teachers are only demanding what is due to them. And that is not part of negotiation. Under the law which we have, negotiation and consultation does not involve intimidation. Okay. We would have seen them coming up with a solution to the issues raised, not intimidation and threats. Mm. Yes. I, I, I was interacting with you briefly and I asked you that uh, teachers are called to serve. Yes. I was, uh, the students, students have been away from school for, for the past two years. Yes. And they had just gotten back to school, you know, to catch up with the syllabus, to catch up with the education system. And now this also has come up. Yes. What does this mean for the education sector and don't you think it is really impacting on the children? First of all, there is no person who fears for the learner more than the teacher. The, the teachers understand what the learners have gone through. They have lost almost two years during COVID-19 lockdown and school closures. But again, that doesn't mean that when you feel for the learners, you leave things to go the way they are without addressing because it would be more dangerous for teachers to be in a class pretending to teach when in actual sense they are not teaching and government is aware they even made an abridged curriculum meaning there was a lot to cover but within limited time now, it's government's actions that have forced the teachers to go for industrial action. So, what we are looking at, this is not an issue of teachers per se, but the learner is at the center of it. And therefore, government would be working towards having a solution to the issues raised than intimidation and threats which are making the bad situation worse. So if you are to speak to a teacher out there, what would you want them to do now that many of them are actually under pressure? Right now we expect government to come with a solution to the issues that were raised to government. Teachers are very ready. But unless we get a solution to the issues raised, then the threats and intimidation are only making the matters worse. Mm. Are you planning any future talks to see that uh, they are to, to settle this industry action? The talks are open uh, and we have, we have not said we are not going to talk to anybody because you cannot negotiate while you are not talking. You cannot consult while you are not talking. But the issue is the issue has been put on the table. Instead of coming with a solution, you come with intimidation and threats. Is that a solution? If you have a child at home, you are the parent, and the child asks for food, is it fair and just to say, go away from here, or else I'm going to kick you? Does that solve the child's problem? Yes, and that is the issue at hand. Well, thank you so much, 